Hello everyone, uh, my name is Robert Ho. In this video, I will show you how to configure DNS using simple DNS Plus for the headquarter office. This lecture is related to the network diagram from the previous video, so be sure you check the main topology before you do this process. Uh, first of all, I would like to configure the DNS name server and then activate the DNS listening or inbound request, uh, name forwarding, the primary zone or the local DNS zone, the state of authority record, and the three host record, which is uh, which are uh, proxy, one for proxy, one for the router, and one for the domain. Uh, next one, we're gonna ensure that the reverse zone is configured properly and the last step is to flush all the cache uh, you go to ipconfig slash flush dns in both of the base pc and the virtual pc uh, you then test the dns on the instructor pc see if you can ping see if you can ping proxy pot something okay all right, uh, let's go to option. And then here, the first thing that you need to do is to put the host name of this DNS server, which is pc099.hq.wickets. Uh, the next thing you need to configure, make sure you check the, the loopback 127.0.0.1 and check the 192.168.200.20. This is the IP address of your PC. So make sure you configure your PC as 192.168.200.20, subnet mesh 255.255.255.255.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
The question is, can I set a shorter TTL? Yes, you can set uh, you can set shorter TTL. However, it can cause heavier load on the on the authoritative name server because when the client uh, requests in the server, when the client look for the information, first they're gonna try first they're gonna look at in the cache. If it is not available in the cache, it will go to the server. Uh, okay. Uh, next one, we're going to configure. Okay. In the name server also, make sure you double check. You have a record name, hq.wicket, and the TTL is one minute, as I mentioned before. Uh, how to configure the the three a host record? Let's start with the with the a record for the domain. Okay, uh, you're gonna configure a host record for hq.wicket, which is for the domain. This is for the for the domain. Okay, put it's, uh, the IP address is 192.168.200.20, and the TTL is one minute. And put a comment there. This is for the domain. Click OK, and then save changes. Another one is for the router, which is this one, stick.hq.wicket, and type uh, the IP address is 192.168.200.1. This is an IP address of the router. Also, you need to put the TTL1. Okay. The command is this is for router in the stick. OK. Uh, then the next one is for the, so we did for the domain, we did for the router, and now for the proxy, we need to create three a host records. This is the third one. The third one is proxy.hq.wickets. The IP address is 192.168.200.20. This is an IP address of the DNS server that is installed in the PC. The TTAL is one, and the record command is, this is for proxy bricky key. So if you finish configuring the three host record, three a host record, then you will see here uh, three of the uh, proxy.hq, stick.hq, and hq.wickets. All right, uh, the reverse zone, you need to do a reverse zone. So let's set up this one, uh, one one minute for each all of them. and. As I mentioned before, you can type any email address, the general, the TTL. Let's make it for one minute here. Okay. So save changes. Okay. If you complete all the configuration of uh, DNS, you will see all of this: the state of authority, name services, uh, and then the the proxy. Uh, the primary domain or this is the a host record for the proxy for the router and for the domain okay uh, I think after that you just need to test if you are successfully configured the DNS for the headquarter you just test see if you can ping using ping proxy dot pot x dot wickets from the headquarter to the pot one uh, computer or from pot one to the headquarters thank you